Bina has been it. Welcome at the Knowledge Center Trends in Media, how to promote your business. We are very happy to have you here tonight. And at NRCC, we organize different kinds of events. For networking, for example, the monthly Dutch networking drink. And within our active community, we share knowledge. And for this, we, we came up with the concept of a knowledge center. And during a knowledge center, two of our members will share their expertise on a certain topic. Tonight it will be trends in media, and we are very happy to have our two members, BPN, part of the LOA group, and Specialist in Comunicado, who will share knowledge about uh, trends in media. Uh, we are a media agency. Our uh, main skill is uh, to integrate um, classical media channel with uh, new media channels. Introduce our second speaker for tonight is Mihaela Tudor from Specialist in Comunicada, and she will tell us a lot about television. Good evening, everyone. Thank you all for being here with me. Thanks, uh, special thanks to Ilana and Raluca who just uh, made an interesting presentation. So, now, are you with me? Yeah. Even in the back? Okay. You should promote yourself on TV. You should promote yourself on TV, your personal brand on TV, because you'll get more power, influence, and credibility. I am Mihaela Tudor, PR and former journalist. My company, Specialist in Comunicare, paints personal brands on TV screens. Today, I want to share with you my knowledge and my experience and make you understand why do I think you should promote yourself on TV. Regarding that, a few weeks ago, one of my clients meets his favorite TV presenter, Moise Guran. Moise enters my client's office and, astonished, says, I know you from somewhere, but I don't know from where. My client freezes. If I've had the honor to meet you until now, I would sure have remembered. I interfere with pride in my voice. You know him from TV, Moise, from TV. And, ironically, so it was. Moise knew my client from television, even though he doesn't watch TV often. So, how much did it cost? <clears throat> Five more minutes spent thinking and a coherent promotion strategy. Is this worthwhile? Because that special story that we're going to make with Moise Guran will make my client an entrepreneur even more known than he already is. You should promote yourself on TV. Why to promote yourself, not the company? Well, first of all, people trust people more than they trust companies. And this is how it should be, don't you think? A few days ago, a friend of mine calls. I just saw a doctor on TV and I liked him very much. I see that you're connected on Facebook. Do you know him personally? Do you know if he's, he's at our clinic too? <clears throat> Basically, she wanted to know if he takes consultations at a private hybrid clinic, which we are subscribed to. No, I said, I'm sorry, he has his own practice, and I do think he's a very good doctor. She signed deeply and said she will make an appointment there then. So what can we learn from this? That doctor managed to find more clients after a single TV material. Those clients are willing to spend some extra money just to be treated by the person that gained their trust. 
and this happens more than you think. Since 1997, Tom Peters is talking about the brand called I. He explains that people want to know the person behind the company brand, the person that itself is a brand. If that brand is owned by a credible professional, he can influence you. If that brand is, vi is visible to, I can bet you that the sky is the limit. You should promote yourself on TV. What is the right way to promote yourself? Today, the competition is too hard to be as simple as it was in the past. The difference between you and uh, your competitors stands in a powerful brand which has in front a credible leader, a brand is itself. This leader never says he's good, but makes others understand how good he is. And this can be achieved only without aggressive advertising. Build yourself a brand based on what defines you. Think about your strengths, your skills, your passions and values and summarize them in just a few words. That is what you will promote. In my case, these are honest, determined, passionate and hardworking. Keep in mind that you also need to sketch a strategy that will help, which will help you to achieve your goal. In every appearance, you must highlight one thing, the one that values the most in the given context. Also, it's very important for you to know that the best way to communicate with your public is if your message has news value. Alfred Hemsworth, that is a British publisher for the Daily Mail, The Observer and The Times, said, news is what somebody somewhere wants to suppress. All the rest is advertising. That statement actually reveals the tensions between news and advertising, between corporate information and journalism, that is not new. <clears throat> Derek Sasson, chief officer of Outbrain, said to Business Week, becoming a provider of news, you'll give audiences value beyond just advertisement, aiming to provoke dialogue or prompt sharing with others. Marketers, should be acutely aware that authenticity, transparency, and real substance are essential for this to work. And I really agree with him. How to discover what has news value? Well, not, not any enrollment, moving, or opening a new branch has news value. Or maybe it has, but it's only for your internal flow, and for that are other channels. A message that is alerting and captivating, and that resonates with your needs and expectations of your audiences, gives them value, will quickly gain field. Turn your message into a funny, interesting, or educational story and you'll conquer both audiences and journalists. From my experience, six years as a journalist and three as a PR, I can tell you that journalists today are exhausted. They don't have the time and the availability to create, to discover. So, that means, if you give the ones you collaborate with a story that is already made, it will be faithfully retrieved. Of course, 
Let me give you an example, because I know it's not simple to think as a journalist, of what has news value. For example, if you are the owner of a money transfer company, a story is how much money Romanians send home for holidays from the specialist angle more or less than previous year. This example actually was broadcasted on television and was published in a daily business newspaper. Some days ago, I was at a business meeting where someone made a story that journalists don't retrieve what is important from their events and uh, distribute inaccurate or incomplete news. This ever happened to you? To me, this never happened. There, there are the reasons that kept me away from the unexpected. The first one, one of the most important ones, is that I focus on the value that I bring to the audience. I think as a journalist and always find the newsworthiness. I have realistic expectations. Let me give you an example. Uh, in the beginning of uh, my collaboration with one of my clients, he insisted that uh, to put his roll up near the chair where a TV crew was filming a procedure, an innovative, a story about an innovative procedure. I told him, no, you cannot do that. He said, why not? Because it's a natural and the people who are present in the newsroom will never leave the reporter to broadcast the story because it's against television rules. I succeed in convincing him. And so, after the story was broadcasted, I've entered the television's website where I wrote all the details that were necessary for people to know who to call for this procedure, how much does it cost, where you can do this. this. Almost instantaneously, the phone started ringing. You should promote yourself on TV. Keep in mind that, in my opinion, Anybody can coordinate huge budgets and pay for advertising. Only a real communication specialist can promote you on TV with minimum budget. And now the question that's probably on everyone's lips. Even though Raluca said to us that 96% of the media tendencies to television. A report made by Advertising Age shows that 63% of executives believes, believe that TV technology provides the best platform to reach targeted consumers. That means that your message, your company's message, reaches a huge audience that, especially here in Romania, <coughs> doesn't think everyone can appear on TV. But remember that you will gain visibility and credibility only sustained by a quality message. Are you scared that you will not find your target audience through television? No, it's impossible. If you select the right channels, shows and showtimes. If you 
cannot do this by yourself, I advise you to get help from a specialist. How promoting themselves helped others. Adriana is working for a corporation here, for a big corporation here in Romania. She became today the first Romanian woman to run a marathon in Antarctica for helping children with cancer. In only one month, we managed to raise 16,000 euros for her cause and Adriana wants to double that sum by the end of the year. Another example, which is present, is Dr. Leacum, <coughs> that became, after one year of working together, the most visible and credible dentist in Bucharest. His company is now the most powerful brand in dental prevention. And Ionuz is the most known entrepreneur of, it, of his field. What's in it for you if you promote yourself on TV? You will get a personal brand which will bring you new business, a faster way to close contracts, competitive advantage, fans, future clients, anytime, a new job. If you want to go in this direction, you must know at first that it takes time, concern, and a minimal investment. Time to define yourself, to build a strategy, to know the right channels and their representatives, to prepare and shoot effectively. I say minimal investment because you do not promote yourself as a company. You promote yourself as a brand. This means that it's not really advertising. Thank you all for your attention. For any further information, you can, can contact me on the phone number and on the email address shown on the screen. I'm Mihaela Tudor. I represent Specialist in Comunicare. Don't forget to promote yourself on TV.